Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my January favorites video and this is my first ever favorites video of this year and of my channel. So I'm going to show you some of my favorites of January and let's get started. I'm going to show you some different favorites. Um, I'm going to try to put them in order but if I don't I am sorry. First I'm going to start off with clothing. This pink hoodie that I got at Victoria's Secret has been my favorite hoodie to wear. I always go to this hoodie because it is so warm and comfortable and just it, it's just cozy and I just love it and I want to buy all of the other colors so I might be tempted to do that but this is so comfy and I love it next is gonna be a food product my favorite food product of January has been these white cheddar cheese popcorn and I have been obsessed with these I've always loved these but for some reason this month I have just been white cheddar popcorn crazy and they're so delicious that you can't ever stop and you have to force yourself to stop but if you've never tried these go try them because they are just delicious I have two favorite hair products of this month, which has been my Briagio Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I got this in my Ipsy bag, and as you can tell, I have been using it because I'm almost out, and this stuff, it just smells so good, and it makes my hair feel nice, and just, I really like it. And this baby is my Con Air, like, paddle type brush, and I'm sorry that it's dirty because I use it for my hair. This takes out all the tangles, and this thing works beautifully. If you do not have one of these, get one. It is amazing. You need this in your life. Your hair needs this. Your hair definitely needs this. And the next thing is a lotion product, which is this Bath & Body Works Vanilla Buttercream Nourishing Hand Cream with Shea Butter and Vitamin E, and this stuff. Ugh makes my hand feel so it's like that it makes my hands feel so nice and moisturized and just and it smells like vanilla buttercream and it's just so delicious now I have this at home and then I have one in my purse and because I went a little crazy and I wasn't sure if they were gonna still sell these hopefully they still sell these but I have two more backups just in case because this one's almost out I think the one in my purse is almost out too, but I love this. You should definitely get it if you like the smell of vanilla and the smell of buttercream because this stuff is delicious. I got my friend to buy it and she's loves it too, so definitely check this out. The last items I'm going to show you are all makeup products I have been loving this month. First is this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It just helps my skin look so flawless. I used it today, but I also used the NYX pore filler underneath it. That's the first time I've ever done this combination. And today my skin looks flawless, but even when I use this, it erases, it does erase my pores and just makes my skin look so flawless. And I really, really like it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. I really like this product. Thing is my foundation, which is my go-to foundation, which is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. It also has broad spectrum of SPF 20. I am in the shade Nude Beige, which is 232. I love this foundation. It's supposed to have basting power of a primer, coverage of a concealer, and blood of a foundation in one. I still use a primer, and I still use a concealer, just, you know, to make be safe. But this stuff does an awesome job. It lasts all day, as it claims. I rarely get shiny. If I do, I just put a little bit of powder on my face and I'm good to go. And I just love this, especially because it's a pump. And it's so easy to use. And I just... This is my favorite drugstore foundation. And this is, like, ever since I was introduced to this... I have fallen in love with it. I just, I love the finish. 
Um, I have oily skin, so it's it's a liquidy. It's liquid, and then when it's on your face, it's like a powder. It goes on like a liquid, and then it sets as like a powder, as a matte finish, and it's so flawless. I'm wearing it today, and I just love this foundation hands down love it my favorite and it comes in all different shades which is awesome now my favorite concealer is the NYX HD photogenic concealer and this is in medium I'm almost out of this um, I use this to cover up my like if I have any pimples and all, my acne and all that and it does a really good job of doing it um, I like how it has this applicator it's perfect I've been using this for months and I just love it so much. It's it's such a great concealer and it's not expensive at all. And normally what I started doing is I put all my like my primer stuff on and then I will apply this to my pimples or my acne or whatever I have any spots and then I would blend that in with my beauty sponge and do all that and then I would put my foundation on and then if I still see them shining through I will reapply it and it works perfectly fine like you can't even tell that I have any acne right now and I do TMI another favorite has been this BH Cosmetics Lilac Blush Duo and it looks like this they're I'm wearing this today and they are so pretty that's what they look like and just they're just Even though you can't really. They're just so beautiful. Just. And they're such perfect colors. And they're so soft. And it's just. I just. I find them so beautiful. And I just. Oh. My last beauty favorite would be my. Laura Tantalizer Highlight and Matte Bronzer Duo. And it looks like this. I bought this months ago and I didn't even use this thing for months. It was kind of like one of those products that I kind of forgot that I had. Like I saw it but I forgot I had it and I never used it because I was using my Pixie bronzer that I got in my Ipsy bag. And then I was like, you know what, I gotta try using this. And I just, I just love this. I'm wearing this today too and it's beautiful. It's just... It's, it's so beautiful, it blends easily, and it's just, I, I've been falling in love with Lorac products lately, and it's just, I am so happy that I have uh, been using this because it's beautiful. My favorite TV show of the month has definitely been Pretty Little Liars because it came back on this month, and I am obsessed. I've been obsessed, well... This month, I have a bunch of TV shows. I've been watching Teen Wolf. I've been watching Pretty Little Liars, Ravenswood. So I had to tell you what my favorite apps were this month. Even though Instagram is always my favorite app ever. I love Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Tiny Got Heart. But I will also leave all that information in the down bar. I will leave all that beautiful stuff. Um, but Instagram and lately Twitter... I've really gotten into Twitter lately, and, yeah, my Twitter is tiny about art too, so, you know, yeah. follow me. And then my favorite song, I have, my favorite song this month is called Monster Under My Bed by, I believe her name is Baby Rexha. If you've heard of the song The Monster by Eminem featuring... Rihanna, Monster Under My Bed is the original version of that song. And it is so amazing that you must go listen to it. After you finish watching my video, go look it up on YouTube. It is beautiful. It's, I, I just love it. It's the original version of the monster. I, and if I had to pick another favorite, it would be Chocolate by the 1975 Every time I hear that song on the radio, I just jam out, and, um, Just Another Night by Iconopop, I love that song too, Take Me Home featuring Baby Rex Ha and Cash Cash, but the acoustic version is so beautiful too, and then, Talk Dirty 
by Jason Derulo featuring Two Chains. I so catchy. So if you haven't heard it, you need to look it up. If you missed what I said, I will leave everything down below in the down bar. And that is all for my January favorites. I can't believe January went by so fast and it's just crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs it up. Leave any of your questions or comments down below in the comments. Also leave your suggestions. I'd love to hear what kind of videos you guys would like to see. Also, if you're not subscribed to me, you definitely should hit that subscribe button. You'll always be up to date on my videos and I love new subscribers and I love interacting with you guys. So, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going.